Greetings and welcome to the latest edition of Caring About Seniors. Now, as you know, I sit down with Dave Stieglitz, who is the president of Oasis Senior Advisors Jacksonville, and we discuss all things about senior living. Today, we're delighted to welcome into the studio Alexander Moore from Umicare, and we're going to find out all about it. Welcome, Alexander, and good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. So the first thing we have to say is, what is Umicare? Well, Umicare is a friendly marketplace that connects seniors with trained local caregivers. As simple as that. It's as simple as that. It can be very hard to find the right caregiver when you decide you need in-home care. And that's our specialty is matching people with the perfect caregiver. And how did you come up with Umicare? Well, it calls to a relationship. Um, it's about you and me. That's what the relationship between a caregiver and someone they're taking care of. And so uh, it was kind of a clever play on that. And what makes you different from some of the other places out there? Uh, the biggest difference is we are a platform. So we, we put the power in the hands of the people, so to speak, right? So uh, if you need in-home care, this is a big decision. And you should, have, um, you, should, you should be able to make a decision about who you're bringing into your home. And we felt that that was very important. So we wanted to provide a platform where you can um, get matched with the perfect caregiver for you. And that becomes your caregiver. Do you give advice to people on which way to go if they're completely confused? Yeah, absolutely. There's a, <laughs> it's common. It's yes. common. Uh, it, it, you know, people find themselves in this situation and they don't know what the options are. So we take a very consultative approach on the front end to help people figure out what's right for them. And what does that first consultation look like? Um, it can happen over the phone or it can happen in person. And um, it takes between 15 and 20 minutes. We, we, talk, we start with a consultation that says, well, tell me why you called today. Mm. And yeah. we listen. Yeah. And that's mostly what we do in our consultations is listen and take in information because then it helps us um, figure out the type of care that the person needs mm. and the type of support that they need. And then we can go out and figure out how to help them. Let's talk about the, the caregivers. How do you find them? How do you screen them? How do you support the caregivers? Absolutely. So when I first got into this industry, what I found out very quickly is there is a extreme labor shortage. 85% of home care agencies are turning away clients because they don't have the caregivers to support them. Correct. And as I looked into that issue, um, it's, it's a complicated one, but it, at the bottom of it, it's an economic one. Um, to be a caregiver in the U.S. is not um, an incredibly lucrative job right now. It's something that I want to change because I think it's a career for the future. So what we did was we, we said, well, how can we use technology to lower the overhead cost of running a traditional agency and then deliver that value back to the caregivers in the form of higher pay? which would allow us to recruit higher level caregivers and um, actually recruit people from different industries into becoming caregivers, which has been very interesting. So while everybody else has somewhat of a labor shortage, we're doing pretty well. Uh, the word has gotten out, a lot of caregivers are finding us and joining our platform. How long have you been running? Uh, we started a pilot in November to really test the whether we can recruit caregivers and get good quality caregivers onto our platform. And um, I'm proud to say we had a very, very successful pilot. Um, we've gotten the word out that Yumi Care is out there and that there's an alternative um, where you can be an independent caregiver in the community, earn more money than you have before, and meet great clients that are right for you. When, when you um, do that initial consultation, do you find that some of the um, clients actually think that they need something and you're listening to them thinking, actually, you need something else? <laughs> and how do, you, how do you actually explain that to them? I've found that, that clients in, in this situation, they really want more advice. They're not sure what to do. Mm. Um, a lot of times it's a son or daughter who calls. And, you know, maybe that conversation started with, you know, they got a call as, you know, hey, mom fell or something like that. Right. <laughs> and so so then um, they call us. They're looking for support, but they don't know exactly where they want to start. Um, a lot of the conversation can, um, you know, be around, well, how much time of support do you think that you need within a week is a conversation that we have with them. 
um, what types of activities do, do they need support with, um, and really what does, what does the, the senior want, the person who's being taken care of, what are their wishes, uh, what did they used to do, uh, what's their level of independence, right? Because we need to know all that information so we can tell what kind of level to bring, of care to bring into the home. How, how do you see this uh, yeah. being useful for you? Well, I get, again, I get calls of people that, that need advice and need direction as well, and not yeah. all of them need assisted living. Yeah. A lot of them can still do well at home with just a little bit of assistance, a little bit maybe of transportation or just help mm -hmm. with things because they can't do the meals or things anymore. So absolutely, and to be able to have options, um, I mean, I get a lot of calls that say, why don't I just get a live-in caregiver? They have really no idea how this works. Right. And they think that oh, I'll just find somebody that'll live in my house for free and, and, and they'll take care of me and it'll be a Shangri-La. And that really is right. not realistic. But you know, to have different options, different platforms, different way to, to do this and then to connect people um, that way, it could be an awesome option. For yeah, absolutely. And, and we find that, that preserving people's choice is important. It doesn't sound very important, but... Imagine no, your son. It sounds very important. Well, like. well, it, it it's it choose it, the ability to choose who your caregiver is is important, and it's not mm. something that's out mm. there right, right now. Right. And that's so, kind of what I'm fascinated with. How how do you make that match? How do they, you know, because yes. you're actually doing some pre-screening, so you're not yeah. presenting every caregiver that you have, but we you kind of narrow it down to those that that are going to be able to match those specific needs yeah. that you've picked up on. And then that somehow gets on your platform, and then they still have then they have choices that Absolutely. are presented. Yes, so it's it's actually pretty neat. And this gets into the secret sauce a little bit. Okay. So um, there are really four things that you need to consider when you're bringing a caregiver into your home. Um, one is is distance. If a caregiver has to drive a long way, even if it's for a four or five hour shift, the likelihood that that relationship is going to continue for a long term is it gets lower. Sure. So you want to have a tight territory management. You want to have caregivers in the areas where you're serving. Um, so location, availability is important too. Caregivers have lives, they have children. Um, some of them want to work weekends, some of them want to work overnights. Um, and so their availability is an important factor that we take into consideration. And then training. So what level of care does this person need in the home? And um, so they may need a home health aide or a CNA level, or they might just need a companion. And then the, the fourth thing, which is something that we've innovated on, is personality and things mm -hmm. in common. Because again, the end goal isn't to just have somebody come in and do stuff for you. It's to create a relationship. All right. It's, it's what we look for in, in the assisted living side is anybody can find a room, but let's find a place that you can engage and thrive because the culture there matches what you're looking for. Exactly. And so you're doing the exact same thing. Find someone that, that can be a, a friend. It's, know, a, that, that, yes. it's, it's about a match. And we've had, we've actually had clients who have said, my caregiver is my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, we have a great, we have a great video um, out there where um, that's, that's basically what they said. They said, my caregiver is my friend and they've become fast friends. And mm -hmm. that, if, that's if, the ultimate if that goal. is the ultimate yeah. goal, that is mm -hmm. the ultimate goal. Um, if you, if you look at the industry right now, the standard is we'll get someone there, but it might not be the same person. You can imagine how disruptive that would be, yes. especially with memory care issues. Um, and, and you might not really like that person or get along with that person, but they'll be there, right? So that's, we can go, we want to go beyond, we want to go beyond that mm -hmm. and, and create that relationship. And so far we've been doing a very good job of that. So d w your, um, your caregivers, do they are they assigned to one client only? Uh, they can work multiple. Um, another differentiator of ours is um, it, when you when you find yourself in the situation of needing a caregiver and you call for in home care, you'll find that um, the agencies will say, "Well, our rate is you know twenty seven twenty eight dollars an hour," but what they don't tell you is they have service minimums. Hmm. So. We can't send any, they'll say, we can't send anybody out there unless you do four hours, at least three or four days a week. Right. And that might work for some people, but some people might not need that much care. And so we don't have a service minimums rule. It's really between you and your caregiver. If your caregiver is available and is willing to come over and help for a couple hours at a time, um, they can do that. And, and that works very well when the caregiver is close by to the to the client. 
So again, back to that back territory to management and location, that's something we take very um, much into consideration and we map all of our caregivers and we can, you know, um, it helps us filter down to that, that group of caregivers that we might offer and say, mm -hmm. hey, would you like to interview with these caregivers? Do you set the rates? Do they negotiate that between the customer and the... They, they certainly can negotiate the rates, but we set the rates, we start the rates, we have packages, um, and we set it to, to market. Because um, one thing that we don't like is, um, for instance, the care.com model. So imagine the care.com model where literally anyone can list themselves as a caregiver on their platform. Um, and is that, is that true? They can, yeah, you can create a listing for yourself as a caregiver on the that. platform. Yeah. And they have rating systems, um, you know, so you can see how, how they do, which is, yeah. which is, that's fine. Um, but you also have to set your rates. So imagine you're a caregiver. Now you've got this platform where it's a race to the bottom. Well, if I want to get more customers, I got to lower my rates. And so you've got these caregivers that are, you know, it's kind of a race to the bottom in, in terms of value. But um, creating a relationship and helping support somebody in the home is very valuable. And part of our mission is to really change the game for what it means to be a caregiver in the U.S. Mm -hmm. If you look at the stats, I mean, we've got 10,000 people turning 65 every day for the next 30 years. Caregiving will be a career in the future, and it's not going to be on par with, you know, working fast food anymore <laughs> uh, because companies like ours are going to change what it means to be a professional caregiver in the yeah, US. Absolutely. If anyone's watching out there that wants either your services or wants to be a caregiver, how do they find you? Well, they can find us on social media and they can find us on the web, www.yumicare.com. That's Y-U-M-I-C-A-R-E. And uh, they can submit a form, they can call us. Um, either way, we'll be in touch. And um, it's very easy to get started. And we can actually fulfill services, in most cases, same day or next day. Alex, thank you for coming in and talking to us about Yumicare. Absolutely. It sounds fascinating. And good luck with the future. Thank you very much. And don't forget, if you'd like to know any more information about Yumicare, you can also go to iwantabuzz.com.